Visarga IAST Visarga Sanskrit Visarga means sending forth discharge in Sanskrit phonology Siksa, Visarga also called equivalently Visarjaniya by earlier grammarians is the name of a phone h written as Visarga is an allophone of r and s in pausa at the end of an utterance since s is a common inflectional suffix of nominative singular second person singular etc Visarga appears frequently in Sanskrit texts in the traditional order of Sanskrit sounds, visarga and anusvara appear between vowels and stop consonants. The precise pronunciation of visarga in Vedic texts may vary between sakas. Some pronounce a slight echo of the preceding vowel after the aspiration, a will be pronounced, and e will be pronounced. Visarga is not to be confused with colon. Types Topic. The visarga is commonly found in writing, resembling the punctuation mark of colon or as two tiny circles one above the other. This form is retained by most Indian scripts. According to Sanskrit phonologists, the visarga has two optional allophones, namely jihavamulya or the guttural visarga and upadmaniya or the fricative visarga. The former may be pronounced before ka, ka and the latter before pa, and fa, as in tava patamaha ka, tava patamaha ka who is your grandfather? Paksana ki udayante paksana khe udayante birds fly in the sky, bo pahi bo pahi sir, save me, and tapafalam, tapafalam result of penances. They were written with various symbols, e.g. x-like symbol versus sideways 3-like symbol above flipped sideways 1, or both as two crescent-shaped semi-circles one above the other, facing the top and bottom respectively. Distinct signs for Jihavamulya and Upadmaniya exists in Kannada, Tibetan, Sharada, Brahmi and Lansa scripts. Other Indic scripts Burmese In the Burmese alphabet, the visarga variously called, she ga pak, wizen alone pak, or, she z and represented with two dots to the right of the letter as, when used with joined to a letter, creates the high tone. Japanese <inaudible> <inaudible> Motori Norinaga invented a mark for visarga which he used in a book about Indian orthography. Topic: <inaudible> Javanese. Topic: In the Javanese alphabet, the visarga known as the Wignian is represented by a two curls to the right of a syllable as the first curl is short and circular and the second curl is long. It adds a h after a vowel. Khmer In the Khmer alphabet, the visarga known as the remuk, shining face", indicates an aspirated, sound added after a syllable. It is represented with two small circles at the right of a letter as, and it should not be confused with the similar-looking ukulelic pintu pair of dots", which indicates a short vowel followed by a glottal stop like their equivalent visarga marks in the Thai and Lao scripts. Lao In the Lao alphabet, the visarga is represented with two small curled circles to the right of a letter as As in the neighboring related Thai script, it indicates a glottal stop after the vowel. Tamil in the Tamil alphabet, the visarga known as the Ayutha Lutu, Ayutha Lutu or Adam, Adam is represented with three small circles to the right of a letter as H. It represented a now obsolete H, or, X sound that has either become silent, or pronounced as X, A, K, or, Ka, in careful speech. It is also placed before a consonant to transcribe some foreign phonemes, such as H, P, F, as in Pesan fesin, fashion", and Opus ofis, office" ha z, h per kilo second, and x. Telugu 
In the Telugu alphabet, the visarga, which is called visarga, is represented with two small circles to the right of a letter H. It brings an aha sound to the end of the letter. Topic Thai. Topic. In the Thai alphabet, the visarga, known as the Wisanchani, Wisverchni or Nam Nong Thangku, Nam Nang Thangku, is represented with two small curled circles to the right of a letter as a. It represents a glottal stop that follows the affected vowel. Topic. References. Topic.